Hare Krishna. Wish you all a very happy new year. On this day, I would like to contemplate how when we have the new year, we also long for a new me, a better me, who can bring about a better future for ourselves and for others. So how can the new year resolutions that we make be made with greater firmness and what can the Bhagavad Gita's wisdom tell us about these? So I'll talk about this in terms of an acronym card. Just like we send New Year cards to others. Let's send a card to ourselves. So let's 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 look at four principles that can help us improve ourselves. So first C is contemplation. Whenever we make resolutions and are unable to keep them, we often beat ourselves up thinking that I just don't have determination. I have low willpower. Maybe, maybe not. It could also be that we have not done adequate enough contemplation about why following through with that resolution is important for us. Contemplation involves using of our intelligence. And Krishna in 3.43 stated, Evam buddhe param buddhva samsthabhya atmanam atmanaha. He says, with your intelligence, situate yourself on the foundation of who you really are. So that means that if, say, I am here right now and there is a particular behavior that I can develop, a healthy behavior, then we could envision where would that take me in the future. Maybe one day, two days, if I do it, it won't make much difference. But if I do it for six months, if I do it for one year, where would it take me? So contemplation means using our intelligence to visualize the future. Both a positive future where engaging in that or developing that habit will take us. And we could also do the opposite visualization where, where will not engaging in that healthy behavior take me or conversely where will not engage not giving up some unhealthy behavior end me with so if i just say decide to read the bhagavad gita 15 minutes a day then within a year i could read not just the whole book maybe read it twice maybe read a lot of the books that i wanted to read so just so visualize Similarly, if you are wasting time, now what would it mean if you are wasting, say, one hour on just uh, social media or TV or gossiping every day? That means 365 hours. That's what we are wasting. How much is that? If we visualize in terms of how much money we could earn in that much time, well, that's a lot. If you could visualize it in terms of other activities that we could do in that much time, that's a lot. So, contemplation involves visualizing the consequences of our actions using our intelligence, specifically the consequences of our choices. That's the first part. Then A is association. If we need a multi-pronged approach. So, for example, it is our mind which is fickle. And if my mind is here, from inside me, above the mind is the intelligence. In 342, Krishna has said that, that Indriyani Paranyahur, Indriyabhya Paramana, Manasastu Parabuddhir. So, Buddhi. So, what we are doing is from inside, we are giving force, power to ourselves through our intelligence to restrain the fickleness of the mind. Now, that same thing we can also do from outside. So, A is association. One of the most powerful ways we can sustain our resolutions is by working with others. There could be two or three categories of these others. If somebody else is also making the same resolution, then 
they could be our friends and maybe even our accountability partners that means sometimes we feel low and they encourage us when we see that they are sticking to the resolution that inspires us to stick conversely if we if they feel low we can lift them up so just having somebody else maybe form a whatsapp group and tell okay i i did this i read for this much time today i read for this much time today uh, i meditated for this much time okay just that will inspire us another could be association could also be vertical we could have somebody who is like a mentor and that person is a person who can also guide us inspire us push us if required when we become loose so thirdly it could also be that we set an example for others that means sometimes articulating what we are going to do not in the sense of exhibiting and proclaiming it for pride but just expressing it to others can inspire us to live according to the values that we want to so association is what krishna talks about at many places in the bhagavad gita he says that spiritual things become joyful when we share our reflection with each other that's 10.9 bodhayantah parasparam similarly sangad sanjayate kamaha in 262 while sangha normally refers there to attachment breeds strong desire but association also breed kindles desires that's also a uh, another reading of that verse now the third is retrospection so even after we apply pressure from inside and from outside on the mind still the mind is fickle it may slip away so after we try to execute a resolution and say sometimes we slip sometimes we just sleep we slip means we give up the we are not able to stick to the resolution we have lapse sometimes we sleep means that we are not even we even forget that we had made the resolution and we just succumb to a unhealthy behavior but either way when we retrospect spect is associated with seeing retrospect we means like a revision look back so we look back at our actions and instead of simply evaluating them in terms of success or failure oh i succeeded i am great i feel i am a loser no instead of that we evaluate more objectively we look at ourselves to understand what works for us and what does not and if we were able to do up to a particular point and what was it that inspired us to do do till that point what stopped us from moving forward so so sometimes the key to improving ourselves is also improving our understanding of ourselves in improving our understanding of what works with us and what does not work with us so we can't always force our mind sometimes we have to learn how to make our mind learn so we may find yeah these habits are easier for me to develop these habits are tougher for me to develop maybe this is the battle i want to fight right now when i win this battle then i will get more confidence and i can fight another battle or this battle is critical for me although it is difficult i am going to stick with it to learn about ourselves so that way even if we don't succeed in that resolution to the degree we wanted to we will succeed in gaining a better understanding of ourselves and then we'll also be able to better choose which which resolutions we need to focus on and we'll be able to better follow up with those resolutions and that brings me to the last part that is d so d is devotion so from inside from outside from post the event and now from above in the gita it's described that both we can a higher vision can give us greater motivation and a higher grace can also give us great motivation so that higher vision 
is what the Gita talks about in 259. Param drushtva When we get that higher vision, that higher taste, then we become peaceful. And convert. So what does this mean? If we understand that I am not just all alone, struggling against all that opposes me externally and internally when I try to become a better version of myself. But when we understand that actually I am a part of the divine, I am a part of Krishna, the all attract, the all powerful supreme reality. And that means I have a part in Krishna's plan. Then that understanding itself gives us a higher context in which we can fight our battles. And that way, what happens is that firstly through devotion, we get the excitement and fulfillment of being a part of something bigger than ourselves. And secondly, it is that our connection with the divine through devotion, it gives us the strongest the sweetest foundation on which to build the edifice, the superstructure, the building of our resolutions. So, inside us is our mind, below it is our intelligence, below it is our soul, below it is the super soul, the Lord. So, the deeper goes our resolution, the stronger will be its foundation. So, when we Make our resolutions not just because I want to prove how good I am to the world, but because I want to do justice to the God given potentials that I have. I want to fulfill the destiny that God has in mind for me. I want to act in a mood of service and be an instrument of God's compassion. Then that vision takes our resolution to a much bigger level. And lastly, that also means that when we have devotion, we understand our change is not just about ourselves. It is when we become better, we can, when we become instruments of God's compassion, we can make a positive change in the world. Each one of us can become a difference maker. A positive change maker and when we are in the hands of the supreme lord who is turudam sarva bhuta nam 529 the bhagavad gita then the extent of the difference that we can make is so much more and again that bigger vision which comes through devotion can also inspire us ultimately devotion also means that when we try to act in the mood of service it is God who takes charge of our mind. It is He who calms and cleanses our mind. And we'll find that if we just stick to this particular element of devotion, then we will find that it will become much easier to stick to our resolutions. So to summarize, to better execute our resolutions, Let's first do contemplation using our intelligence of why, where we will get to if we fulfill that resolution and where we will get to if we don't. Then association can help us through having accountability partners, through having mentors and through having others who look up to us as an example. Then retrospection means even if with this internal pushing through the mind and external pushing through association, still our fickle mind slips away, then we look back with curiosity, not criticality and judgment and condemnation, but learn how our mind works and how we can best work with it. And lastly is D, devotion, where we get a bigger vision of how we are parts of the divine's plan. And the God himself wants us to be better versions of ourselves. And we get a deeper foundation and a greater inspiration knowing that our change can make a change not just in ourselves, but in our corner of the world by God's grace. And God 
calms and cleanses our mind when we connect with him and thus making the journey towards a better me much easier. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.